Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I got an email a day or so ago from Topaz Labs. It said, hey Jim, there's an update to Topaz Denoise AI. Why don't you go download that and check it out, right? Same email that everybody got if you're an owner of Topaz Denoise AI. And I thought, hey, you know, they make a lot of improvements to this product. I love that. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go get that, download it, check it out, and just kind of have a play just to see what's new, what's different, and that sort of thing. And then I realized as I was going through it, there's a lot of things that I really like, in fact, love about Topaz Denoise AI. But there's one thing that I love above all the other things. I'm gonna get to that here in a minute. This new update, which is version 3.4, it now includes native M1 support. It includes additional raw camera support for new cameras like some Sony stuff, Canon, Fuji, things like that, as well as performance improvements and stability improvements as well. It's a great update overall. And one of the cool things is this new RAW model, which I love and works really well because by the way, I shoot a lot at night, like in lower light in cities handheld. And so I end up with kind of noisy photos. I love to run them through Denoise AI to get rid of that. But this AI based RAW Denoise model has only been out since like, I think September. It's only been a few months and they've already got an update to it with more stuff added. So I thought that was pretty cool. And so I was going through and I was like, you know, raw support, being able to do these raw files in Denoise AI is one of the things I love about it. I've got a raw file here. As you can see, I've zoomed in quite a bit, uh, 175. But if you look at this, I mean, now to be honest, I probably didn't nail focus that well. But overall, I mean, the noise reduction, if you look at that background, if you look at that, I mean, it's just a massive difference. And her skin, I think, just looks fantastic. And that's one of the things I love about it is that this RAW model, I, I think it just works so well. I shoot with a Sony primarily, but I've also got a Fuji. And I've got some old photos from Nikon and Olympus. And it doesn't matter what file type I throw at it. I feel like it does, honestly, a really good job. So I love that about it. I love that you, you know, you've got automatic settings here, but if, you know, for example, I wanted to come in and say, well, I wanna increase the amount of noise and maybe even bump up the sharpness, I can go in and customize it. I'll admit, many times I will just do the basic default settings and they work out quite well. In this case, I probably went a little bit high with that adjustment to the noise I just made because things have gotten a lot smoother because of course, when you're removing noise, it is smoothing things out. But still, overall, honestly, I think the photo looks great. I love that they have all these different AI models and I read on their website that since 2018, they've added more than 100 updated AI and raw models to help get you the uh, best results out of your files. So I love that they keep innovating and pushing and driving this product forward. I love that you can click on the compare model here and come in and take a look at some of the different models that are available here in Denoise AI and see which one may work best for your photo. Because even though that one was a raw file, in this case, I actually think that low light here in the bottom left actually looks a little bit better and a little bit sharper than the raw model does. And so I find that I want to do this comparison even with the raw file. I may, I may not always use the raw model because like in this example, low light came out better you know, to my eyes. But the point is you can quickly and easily do a comparison. And by the way, I think performance is faster. If you saw that, you know, it's got to recalculate the AI whenever you switch things, but even just moving that screen, I think it did a fairly fast recalc on that. So now that I know low light is the one for me, I'm going to click on that and go over here to the split view so we can do another comparison. And yeah, looking at that, I mean, I just think that looks fantastic. So I'm happy about that. Another thing that I like about Denoise AI is that you've got masking. So if you wanted to come in here and get into masking, you could go into add and just say, for example, if you wanted to just paint this um, noise reduction into her face, you know, I would not do that personally, but this is just an example. You could do that and hit apply mask and go ahead and paint that noise reduction in just there if you didn't want to disturb the noise, you know, disturb the noise in any other part of the photo, and it takes care of it automatically. And so overall, I mean, I just love the fact that Topaz Denoise AI is doing so many things with their product and continually pushing forward. And I will say the thing that I like best about this product, we're getting frequent updates. I can't tell you how many times I feel like I get an email and it says, hey, we've updated our AI models. Go download the new update. I did a video a while back incorporating Denoise AI into it. I recorded the video and then I released it like two days later. And in that time, there was a new model that came out. And people are like, hey, you're not on the current version. I'm like, I can't keep up. And that's a good thing. I applaud that. I love that because that means these folks are pushing forward and driving and trying to do their best and make this product as you know solid and as useful to us as possible. I think it's also helpful to us that there are other companies that are pushing the boundaries as well with AI technology and denoise specifically based on AI. And I think that causes Topaz, which I kind of consider the market leader. I feel like they're the first one out there with a tool like this, at least that I'm aware of. 
Like I said, I think it's been out since 2018 and they're on version 3.4. So, you know, it may not be long. Who knows? Maybe sometime next year we'll get a version four and who knows what they have in store. But that's the thing I like best about Denoise AI. They just keep pushing forward and providing updates and adding more stuff and making the product better and better and better. So that's it. If you don't have Denoise AI, you can get it at the link down below. And this is late December 2021. It's actually on sale for 25% off through the end of the year. If you don't yet have a tool like this in your tool belt, highly recommend it. It's a great product overall. I'm super satisfied with it. Hope this gives you some idea of what you can do and why I'm so excited about continuing to use this tool as part of my arsenal, if you will, of how I attack images. And that's it for this one, my friends. Hope you're doing well. Stay safe out there. Have a wonderful holiday season. I'll be back soon to talk to you about other stuff. And until then, adios.